So everywhere you go, you hear people talking about more of what they think they cannot do and very few of the things they think they can do. So did you hear the problem right there? People think they cannot do. Studies have shown that it is more about what you think you can do than it is about what you can actually do. Take for example now, I personally do not know how to swim. I've always had it in my mind that when I go into any kind of water, I might drown, you know, and all those kind of thoughts that people have. Well, I don't want to scare you guys for now. So all those kind of thoughts, I always had them in my mind that what if I drown? What if something happens? Not until recently when I just decided to plunge into a water and um, it was kind of deep, but still my feet were touching the ground. But anyway, what I want to say is I tried something. I defeated my mind and changed my mindset from the fear of swimming to why not trying. So when I tried, I actually felt good and it was kind of interesting, but I'm still learning now. But yeah, I'll leave the whole brain and mindset stuff for another separate video. Today I'm just here to talk about five things that I believe if we apply to our lives would change our whole mindset and our whole view to success and I promise you, it will change your life because it is doing the same thing to me right now. You know, I've been practicing this and I just felt like why not just share with everyone because everyone's trying to improve their lives and do more. So I just decided to share this with you. Number one is find your purpose. When I say find your purpose, I'm not talking about just sit down and wait for something to show itself to you that this is me, I am your purpose. No, you need to find your purpose. How? Okay, write down 10 things you love doing. You know, from cooking, baking, to football, even speaking. Even speaking, you can write anything you want. Make sure you do that right now. You can pause the video and just write anything. Then, find the similarities between those 10 things. You know, some of them might be similar. Like for example now, baking and cooking. Both take place in the kitchen. So, you now narrow the whole thing to cooking. And for example, you love football and you love badminton. You just narrow everything to sports. You know, anything, just narrow everything from those 10 things you listed to three. I just want you to have three, your top three. Okay, you done that? So the reason I said three is anything beyond three tends to get more cumbersome and overwhelming. So you kind of get lost in trying to find what you really want to do. Now you've gotten them from 10 to 3. Next, you sit down and try to understand all three of them. Then try and find the one that actually resonates with you. The one that is in peace with your mind, your heart, and your body. You know, anything you do that your mind doesn't want you to do will always look so difficult, so hard. So your mind will always discourage you and always push you away from the thing. So try and find something that your mind really wants to do out of the three. Then try and see if your heart is really at peace with it. You know, if you truly don't want to do something, your heart always gives you that second thought. You always think of, am I sure about this? But anything you are really sure of, your heart will always tell you, this is it. This is what you've been looking for. This is what you want to do. Then your body. Make sure this is something you are willing to do even when you have a little and no energy that you will still do this thing the feeling of doing this thing will keep you up all night so congratulations you have now finally found your purpose so you can now write it down as my purpose or my passion okay you've gotten your passion now the next one is make research when i say make research i'm not talking about making a whole project of some the chapters you know on research no we live in the most advanced era of information seeking and finding all the information you need are at the tip of your fingers you can always make your researches on facebook youtube google audiobooks ebooks you name it everything you can get anything you want from anywhere you want from the tip of your fingers just make research then number three is find mentors so this is the one most of us find kind of difficult because it's hard to find mentors nowadays but it is also kind of easy to find mentors it's all about the mindset as i said when we hear the word mentor we always think of someone who would always give us his full attention 100 percent attention concentration like a teacher or maybe parents or something no a mentor is someone who can guide you to do what you want to do if 
you're looking for a mentor chances are what you're looking for is already written or shot on a video there are many people doing many things posting many contents what you're looking for is definitely on the internet somewhere somehow someone is doing what you want to do when you pick a mentor just get someone that resonates with you you take that person as kind of a life coach check what they do methods of doing what you you are learning from them you know it might be i'm making too much examples with bakers maybe because i love cakes <laughs> yeah i really love cakes shout out to daisy drop so the next one after finding your mentor is persistent learning learn persistently always check on them it's possible they have past videos blogs books get the book check the blogs watch videos research as much as you can you know the more you learn the more you know learn as much as you can learn in a short time and number five which is the last one is frequent practice yeah i know you hear from a lot of people talking about practice makes perfect but i'm afraid practice makes perfect is a big lie practice makes you better when you practice you get better than yesterday and when you practice again you get better than you always get better there's no such thing as perfection because if you say you are perfect that means you have nothing more to learn again like you don't need to check anything anymore seriously practice makes you better if you keep on putting frequent practice after practice after practice i promise you I promise you, no matter how hard this thing you are learning is, it will become as easy as eating. Kokodoko say. So thanks a lot for watching my video and I do hope you've learned a lot from this video and I hope you would take so much from this video that you would just begin to apply these rules in your life. So I just hope you try and try and practice. Because the most important one is the practice. That's why I put it in the last. Practice, practice, and practice. And you would be better and better and better. So if you haven't yet, please drop this video a like. And also share with your friends, share with family, share with anyone you know needs to watch this video. And I do hope it helped you in any kind of way. Once again, I'm Harris Kari. See you in the next video.